Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany and today I am coming at you with a really, really cool new video. Um, I'm trying a lot of new stuff with this video and I hope you guys like the way that I did it. I'm playing around with camera angles and timing the whole video with some music and things like that. So just uh, let me know if you like the way that I did that. Please comment below. The next video I have a bunch of cameras that I had going at the same time so that I'll be able to get better camera angles. Um, I actually lost half of the camera that I thought I was recording with. I don't know where it went, but it looks like I deleted it. So thankfully I had this backup camera going because otherwise I could have lost the entire recording of this line art, which would have been tragic because I'm pretty sure I put about three hours into just the line art. Um, this piece originally started off inside of my sketchbook and when I was drawing it, I decided I loved it. I inked it, I scanned it into my computer, I touched it up in Photoshop, then I reprinted it out onto a larger piece of paper, and then I, I traced over it with my window because my light box hasn't come in yet, and then I made this piece from it. So the entire time I was working on this, I was listening to podcasts and having fun and hanging out, and I ended up really, really loving how it turned out. Um, this piece was inspired by basically by by my OCD tendencies. Um, I have a lot of anxiety and anxiety disorders and so when I feel really anxious I tend to draw really intricate pieces and because of all of my looming deadlines I was feeling exponentially more anxious than I normally am. So I decided to harness that energy into something at least a little productive. Um, just the line art itself, I think probably took between three and four hours. I'm not really sure exactly. Um, but I did, I did probably spend about 10 hours on the full piece, maybe 12 hours. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely watched at least five movies while doing this and listened to three podcasts. So whatever that turns into. <laughs> Um, I used my Micron Sakura pencils and I used some Bristol paper in order to do this piece and I did all the color work with Prismacolor pencils which you'll see in just a minute. This piece was inserted into the colored pencil art show that I just got accepted into in Ypsilanti, Michigan and in the next video I'll give a lot more detail about that because the uh, opening for that show is in November. So I'm going to start raising the hype for it a little bit here. Um, if you're wanting to get prints of this piece, you're welcome to check out my Etsy shop. The prints will be listed there. The original is not up for sale yet. It will be up for sale after the show is over. And then I will make a little announcement, I guess, on Twitter or maybe Instagram. I'm not sure. Just to let you know. Um, since we are kind of starting to zoom up for the holiday season, I do want you guys to be aware that there will be a cutoff date of December 5th for shipping. So if you guys want to get something from my shop, it needs to be before December 5th. Otherwise, I cannot guarantee that it will get there in time for the holidays. After December 5th, my shop will still be open. You can still order and I will still be shipping, but I won't be able to guarantee that your piece of art or whatever it is you buy will be there on time for Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa because they all fall within three days of each other. So I can't guarantee anything after December 5th. Um, so Etsy shop updates for the next couple of weeks. I just want you all to be aware that I am going to start periodically and regularly updating my Etsy shop. Um, I have been kind of lackadaisical with that lately and I kind of want to change that. So what I'm going to do is on Saturday afternoons, right after my video goes live, then the Etsy update will go live. So within seconds of my video going up, you will be able to purchase the original, which hopefully then you guys will be able to get your hands on it. Some of them have been selling out pretty quickly, so I'm, I uh, haven't been giving enough hype for that also. So like. People will be like, where's the piece? And I'm like, sorry, it already sold uh, like a week ago before I put the video up because I'm a bad advertiser. So if you're looking to get the piece that I am putting up in the video, just be ready for it right after I make that video go live. So um, 
I will do the hype on, on like Twitter and Instagram and stuff, but still, it'll go live that day. So, anyway, guys, after all of that, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you later. Bye!